Hi, welcome to All About WordPress. This is a video tutorial for WooCommerce Wholesale Pricing Plugin Configuration, a plugin by Rymeyer Web Co. This plugin basically helps you to set up a different pricing or a wholesale pricing for your wholesale customers. So this has a pro version also, like a premium version, where it helps to add a different wholesale pricing for your different levels of wholesale customers. So it's very easy to set up. Let's see how to set it up step by step. So this is the WordPress plugin page of the plugin WooCommerce Wholesale Prices. So it's very easy to set it up, only just small steps. You just need to install and activate this plugin and you can just set up a wholesale pricing for your each product for simple as well as for variable products and you can set a user role for the customers it's just normally like the default ones so you can add a new role over here wholesale customer role and also the wholesale customers can see the wholesale pricing after that so it's just three to four steps so for that you can either download the plugin from the wordpress plugin page and upload the zip to your wordpress dashboard or you can go to plugins add new section so you can just search and install the plugin search for WooCommerce wholesale and you can see the plugin over here just click on the install now button and click on activate and the plugin is activated so you can either go to settings page by clicking over here or you can see it in the WooCommerce settings section wholesale prices so if you want your if you do not want your wholesale customers to apply a coupon so you can disable the coupon for wholesale users from here so you just need to tick the box so they can't apply any more coupons and let's see what's there in the price section so in the product detail page or in the products page you can see a wholesale price a tag will be there and where they can see the price after that so if you want to customize the text you can do it from here and usually how it happens is like for the prices you can see a strike one and as well as a price right a regular price and sale price if you don't want them to see a strike price you just want to show them a single price without any striking and all then you can just hide it hide the original price over here so only the wholesale price will be shown so i will show that to you for now let's just make it as by default and uh, in the upgrade version as i mentioned there is a premium version with additional features so you can use premium version if you need like if you want to set different pricing for different wholesale customer roles so like etc so many of there and you can go through that one by one so let's see how to set up the basic one for now and here we can see another part WooCommerce wholesale roles so here you can see the roles available for you for the, this is the currently available one in the free version there is only one role available that is wholesale customer so if you have to add more customer roles like this is the where that you need that to add like different levels of wholesale roles and different pricing for each role in that case you have to add more and more roles so to add a new role this is the light version so we can add one more role over here so you have to go to premium version or you have to get the premium version so that you can have more so let's see how to add wholesale pricing for each product like for simple as well as for variable products so this is my single i mean simple product so for a simple product we basically add pricing from the general section so you can see a wholesale pricing over here so i can set up any price i'm just gonna make it as 12 so my customer wholesale customer will be having showing the price rupees 12. i'm just gonna update it 
this is how you add wholesale pricing for a simple product and let me show you how to add for a variable product so here are the tomato this is my variable product you can see it's a variable product over here so for variable products you have to add pricing in the variation section so here is my variation so you can see normally it will be regular price and sale price so you can add, see one more section over here wholesale pricing so this will be again adding my wholesale pricing to variable price i mean variable product so i'm just gonna update it so this is how you set up wholesale pricing for a variable product so for different variations you have to add differently and then let me show you how it appears in the website so before that we need a wholesale customer role right so for creating it you can go to users add new user just add the details and create a new user so let me show you how to create a new user for testing purpose and the main part is over here the role so i'm gonna set up the role as my wholesale customer so i'm gonna add this as new user a wholesale user so i have created another user for wholesale purpose so let me show you how so for wholesale users so i need to log out from my admin so that i can log in as wholesale user go to my account section logged in and i'm gonna go to shop page so you can see my product is updated with wholesale price since i'm a wholesale customer i can see wholesale price and this is uh, original price so this is what i mentioned before if you want to hide it you can check on that option where you can hide it and so when you go to product detail page also you can see the wholesale price 12 and you can just click on the add to cart and you can see the price 12 and this is how and the customer can check out after this so this is how you can just change a wholesale pricing and how the wholesale customer can see a different pricing over there so let me show you how to show the product without showing this original price so i'm just gonna take that so for that i have to again log into my wp admin so this is the mention one if i'm gonna click this and click on the save changes oops sorry this is for display coupons you have to go to price section and this is it high original price save changes i just misread it so saving the changes and now i'm going to see it as a wholesale user so now i can't see that original price and current price over here i can just see the wholesale price and i can see only the wholesale price so for wholesale customer 
so if i'm gonna log out and just see what other users like if it is for guest it will be showing the regular price itself so this is how this is how you can show wholesale pricing for wholesale customers thank you